The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, you know, this is the home of boxing, True School Sports, where we talk about everything from the pay-per-view fights to the pay-per-view fighters, all the way down to the prospects you may or may not know about. So make sure y'all smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. But listen, man, listen. This is another installment in our long, illustrious prospect review series. And today we got a fighter whose last name I cannot pronounce, so I won't even try to butcher his name. But uh, we'll, we'll call him Otar. They call him the Pitbull, so we'll call him Otar the Pitbull. Otar the Pitbull, man. This this fighter. It's a fighter that I'm very familiar with. You know, he's he's from the country of Georgia, but I've gotten familiar with him over time because he's been training here in South Florida in Hollywood at, at, at Warriors Boxing Gym, which I gotta say, you know. Warriors Boxing Gym is hands down um, one of the nice, if not the nicest facility I've ever seen in boxing anywhere around the world, you know, um, and, 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 and it's a place that has a lot of great fighters stopping by that. I mean, Warriors Boxing just had Tyson Fury stop by recently and, and he spent about two or three months of camp this past summer at uh, Warriors Gym. So love Warriors Gym, love the fighters coming out of there. And I, I would say this, of the fighters that are coming out of Warriors Gym, you know, Timur Abragamov, the former heavyweight, you know, 1996 Uzbekistan Olympian, um, you know, he's a trainer of Otar and, and he's the guy that, that's running the gym. He, 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 run, he runs a tight ship. Timur Abragamov runs a tight ship. And, you know, I think of all the fighters in the gym, this fighter right here is the one that I'm most excited about. And Otar, the pit bull, man, he's got a fight coming up on Showbox this Friday uh, on the undercard. He's fighting a fighter named Alejandro Guerrero, who's 12 and 1. And I want, I want everybody to tune in for us fight. I want everybody to, 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 to come in, to come see what Otar is about because Otar, I'll tell you this, man, just, 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 just to be blunt, to put it just bluntly, Otar's a fucking beast. He trains extremely, extremely hard. Um, you know, I've seen him train with, like, the whole gym, and they'll, they'll, they'll do the workouts, and I've watched him work out. And while these other guys are getting tired, and while they're folding in the workouts, or on the bag, or in the agility drills, Otar's just getting better and better and better. So the way, I, the best way I can classify him, you know, him... At 9-0, he's 9-0, 6 KOs, he's a 130-pound prospect, he's an explosive and durable fighter, he's the kind of fighter that the casual fan would like, he's the kind of fighter that the hardcore fan could appreciate, and he's the kind of fighter that uh, I'm really excited about because, you know, nobody really knows who he is yet, he's flying into the radar, and I, and I believe this fight on Showbox is really his, his chance to make an impression on people, you know, um, of all, I, I, I see a lot of fighters here in South Florida, you know, going gym to gym. And I would say Otar is definitely one of the hardest working fighters I've ever seen. Um, you know, he's he's been working hard a lot the last through the last year or so. You know, fighting um, a lot, been very active. And funny enough, Otar is from the country of Georgia, right? So you wouldn't expect a guy who's from like a Eastern European or a country that's right. You know, I, I, you could say a European country. You wouldn't expect a guy who's a European fighter to be fighting on Telemundo, but he's fought on Telemundo five times. So. Um, the the English speaking audience might not be familiar with him, but for, 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 for people that regularly watch Telemundo, they're gonna know about Otar. Otar is a is a good fighter, man. And I, 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 the best way I can classify his style is I would say that um, is that they made a if 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 there was a way they could inject Mexican blood into a European fighter, I feel like Otar would fit that bill because he fights with the kind of ferocity and the explosiveness of a of of, of a Mexican pressure fighter. You know, and that makes for exciting fights. You know, um, he, he I've heard a lot of great things about him. You know, I heard when Adrian Broner was doing his camp down here in South Florida at the Sweatbox Gym, I heard that, um, you know, he did good in sparring. You know, I, I didn't get to, I, I didn't get so many details, but I heard he did pretty good in sparring against Adrian Broner, and he left, he left an impression on a lot of people. And there was a lot of people in boxing, you know, who, whose names I'm not going to mention, but a lot of people have been sparring with on these gyms, and they began getting their asses handed to him. You know, so with that being said, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to, to just to the world finding out who he is. Um, you know, he had a long amateur career and, and, and he won some things in the amateurs. Not, not no, no Olympics, no, 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 none of that, but he won a couple, you know, uh, world championships and, and things of that nature. And um, I, I, I've just been seeing him work really hard at Warriors over the last year or so, seeing him at shows in South Florida. Um, and I, what I can tell you guys is Otar, you know, the pit bull. He's someone that you guys are really gonna like, and um, you know, I, I I I got I got a good feeling that he'll be someone to to, to watch in the one hundred and thirty pound division because of his explosiveness, because of his uh, 
the fact that he's so durable. You know, I, I was at a fight, right? I was at a, I was at a fight earlier this year. He fought in Miami, in a part of Miami called Brickle. For those of you in South Florida, if you know, you know, you, you know, all, you know about Brickle. M and R Boxing Promotions, M and R Boxing Promotions, which is like a pro local promotional company, they put on a show, and at that show, um, at that particular show, um, Otar boxed a fighter named Juan Carlos Pena. And Juan Carlos Pena, you know, he was a, a, a guy that had already lost um, fighting like the Dominican Republic and stuff like that. But Juan Carlos Pena, he was coming off of, a, he wasn't too far removed from a loss. And he was a determined fighter on the night. And, and the fight was a war. I actually filmed it on the channel. It was a war and, and Pena was game that night. And Otar fucking broke his spirits, folded him up like a blue steel chair. Um, you know, handed out rib dinner after rib dinner. A lot of body punches, a lot of pressure, just a lot of aggression. So I... I'm not going to sit here and say that Otar is going to be a world champion or anything like that, but I think, you know, just so long as he wins his Showbox debut, this should be the start of uh, one of the most exciting fighters the 130-pound division, division has to offer. And I'll tell you this, one fight I would like to see um, at some point in time, because I think style-wise it would be a very entertaining fight, is, is uh, I want to see Otar the Pitbull against uh, James Crunch Time Wilkins. I think that'd be a good fight. I think these two guys would... Uh, their styles mesh really, really well. And, um, you know, I think it'd be a good fight for both of them. But anyway, that's my review on Otar. Y'all check him out. He's fighting Alejandro Guerrero on Showbox. Um, I, I wish I had more facts for you guys. There's, there's, there's just not a whole lot on the internet about Otar. So I'm just telling you guys what I know, what I've seen, fights I've been at, how he trains. And yeah, man, one of the most exciting fighters in the 130 pound weight class. So uh, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Check this fight out on Showbox. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take care, guys.